With a dude OJ, OG, back at you, you know, we live in the kitchen cooking up, aka the studio, you know, making music. See what they waiting on is hot grade. Working on that high grade too, making sure everything comes out great. I don't like to be too much thought out with my music and, and, and worry about how will it be received. I, my main thing is just make sure it's a representation of me and my brand. I get beats and touch my soul. It speak to me, I speak right back to it, record it, and you know, on to the next one. Just make music organically. Once I found music, all the emotions that was um, bottled in, I was able to, 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 to put out, and it feels so therapeutic for me, and as a person, you know what I'm saying, it, that keeps me motivated. You have to believe more than anybody else on this earth would believe that you deserve to be in that spot and you have the talent. That's first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Because with that, with a strong faith, you don't let the doubters get to you. You can look at everybody like, are you crazy? You're just blind right now. And it doesn't really affect you because that can really affect a lot of people going going on and not really getting the credit you deserve. So first, first and foremost is faith. Second, after that, you have to get your money up. You have to invest in yourself. This is the music business and this type of business. Before you receive any kickback as far as getting money from music, you will have to invest so much in your brand before you see receive any dollars. So you have to make sure you love this shit to the point where it be times that you're debating studio time or something to eat. And third of all, um, don't expect no handouts. Don't, don't, don't expect no handouts. Bust your ass and mother... Motherfucking pay your dues because don't nobody owe you shit. Only thing promised is that one day you're gonna die. Don't set yourself up for failure. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself, invest in yourself. Don't expect no handouts and um and do time, everything should fall in place. A key part of my brand was that, you know, I was able to start in the streets of this underground radio and things like that and you know when I dropped my mixtape you know what I'm saying I pressed up hard copies like I was going hood to hood you know what I'm saying like I grind for mine like I don't I don't expect no handouts you know what I'm saying like I put in work you know what I'm saying whether it's college here it's, it's a college a corner store a hood a trap like I put in that work I don't have no street team I love paying my dues so I got no problem pressing my shit up bagging my shit up hitting the hood er, yeah this G this my shit here you go Respect is so important because respect is priceless. You know what I'm saying? You you can pay to get known. You can backdoor get fame. So fame is is it, it's acquirable. It's not it's not that it's not that hard to acquire if you stumble upon the right connects. But to be respected musically, that's priceless. That lives with you forever. You know what I'm saying? That's to the point where people are having discussions and debates in barbershops like, yo, this nigga dope. Yeah, that nigga famous, but he ain't fucking with that nigga. So that's way more important to me to be famous. I need to be respected and I would never I would never go the other route as far as like trying to be famous and forget about being respected. So respect is very extremely important. I'm just a new school. As far as my music goes, you know what I'm saying? Art imitates life, which means that, you know what I'm saying? This is me and you know, I just I just be myself on records or what have you and as far as my fashion goes, I was always you know, so I was always that dude, I you know that fly dude, I was always into the fresh kicks, the new fashion, but I was always trying to stay ahead one step ahead at the trends. As long as it's fly the material, good and shit like that, I'm rocking with that. So as soon as people start rocking a certain whether it's a certain type of shit, like I'm next level with it. So I like to say my, my fashion sense is next edge. I'm, I'm me. I don't I'm not the type of person that let the, you know what I'm saying, let the stove dress me. You know, I dress my, I dress myself. For me and 8 and 9, you know, I'm a big fan of the brand. It's my type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? It's that nice, fresh, street appeal. A lot of times their clothing has like little images and sayings on it that mean a lot. It represents, you know, the new, the next edge type of thing. So it fits me very well. So shots out to 89, they on their grind, they doing their thing. One of my favorite clothing lines, you know what I'm saying? G, G shit. I never take for granted the genuine support I get. Never take for granted the genuine people want to see me win. And I just focus on the positive. Just focus on being, making, putting out amazing music. You know what I'm saying? High grade two on the motherfucking way though. Yeah.